Hey guys, in this lecture, I'm going to cover some IPython basics. But before that, let's inspect what kind of Conda environment I have on my system. Uh, so to do that, let's do Conda info envs, envs meaning environments. This is gonna give me the list of Conda virtual environments I have on my system. So for our data science course, let's create a new environment. Uh, exclusively for this course so the command is conda create and which is the name of the environment let's call it ds uh, bootcamp uh, python version i want 3.8.3 .3, for example in that environment so what this is going to do is it's going to create this environment with the name ds bootcamp and it's going to have the Python version 3.8.3. Okay, press enter. It's gonna ask me some things, press yes. And it's doing its thing, it's all done. Awesome. So now we have this Conda activate to the DS bootcamp, right? So let's copy that and let's just paste it here. Awesome, as you can see, the base got changed to DS Bootcamp now, so that means that's the new environment. And let's clear this up. Let's check our Python version. It should be 3.8.3. 3.8.3, yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, clear this up. Um, now, so as you can see, now we have this new environment, right? Um, what I'm going to do is now i'm going to show you a thing called ipython till now you might have learned something that's called python which is this python terminal as you enter and you can see we are in this python shell you can do all sorts of things here one plus one equals two and all that but now let's exit out of this let's look at something called ipython okay so there are multiple ways of of accessing that ipython by the way i mean it's interactive python so this is more like a fancy flavor of python with some more added syntactic sugar meaning uh, it gives us more options or more tools to play around with our code and inspect our code and some good things like that okay so ipython means interactive python uh let's there, there are multiple ways of accessing it you can just type this or a much safer way of typing this is python n and then you do hey, python awesome as you can see it's not working for me right now right and this is a pretty common bug or an error and to fix this what i usually do is i get this quite frequently by the way um what i usually do is I use this command this guy here so this happens because there is some mess up um, there's some issue going on with the Jupyter client and Jupyter console Jupyter core as you can see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install pip3 uh, Jupyter Jupyter client console and core uh, so copy this command and just press enter awesome as you can see it's it's working By the way, I'm going to paste this link in the description box below. So if you're facing this issue, um, just go ahead and copy that and just go, you're good to go. Awesome. I think it should work now. So let's just clear this up now and let's try this again. Python and IPython. And there you go. You're in the iPod, IPython shell. Again, I means interactive Python. Um, this is just like the the usual flavor of python right but this is just on top of that um again one plus one should be two perfect um so yeah there you go this is the ipython there are multiple ways of accessing uh, ipython uh, one is this guy here that you're looking at this is called ipython shell and let's come out of this other way is called the browser based which is a Jupyter notebook right if you press enter it's going to open up a new notebook in your browser and i'm just going to bring that up here 
um, and that's how it's gonna look right it's running on my local host uh, let's open up any file here again let's one plus one equals two it's already there and let's do three plus three plus four seven so yeah there are multiple ways of accessing ipython one is this guy the shell here um, if we just looked at it earlier and then we tried this other thing which is a browser based notebook uh, it's called jupyter notebook right this this also runs the ipython by the way so yeah that's pretty much it guys as far as ipython and accessing jupyter notebook is concerned i'm going to go a little bit more detail in the next lecture so just stay tuned